Hi, my name is Michael Sanchina, and I'm a local tour guide and event organizer here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Basically what I do is I go around Winnipeg trying to find areas that not even the locals know about or find areas that are mostly visited like the exchanges where we are right now or Chinatown and I find new ways to introduce it to people so they can learn about Winnipeg and have a great tour. So I do predominantly walking tours. The neighborhoods will be the downtown area, the exchange district, also the West End and I also do some tours that show World War One and World War II history of Winnipeg and cultural tours like very soon I'll be launching a tour here in Chinatown. Well, ever since I was very young, I left Canada and I traveled the world and I learned that by traveling is how you learn the best. You get to know the local people, you get to know the local businesses, and it helps to educate people at the places around the world. Winnipeg kind of suffers from not being very popular. People don't really come here to see it as a destination. I want to change that. I think we live in one of the best cities in the world, and the fact that people don't know that really bothers me. And if I want to change that, I have to be active about it, and I thought the best way to do that would be to offer tours of the city so that locals and tourists alike can get to know the area better. So my background is varied. Most of my work is international. I lived in Korea and Japan, teaching and um, educating people about tourism and marketing. I also worked in Kyrgyzstan, where I was part of a nonprofit project to bring income to the communities by using different uh, tourism methods. And now I work for a big international tourism company. I'm one of their tour directors. So I basically lead the trips on a 120-person small ship around Europe and a 200 ship in Japan. For me, culture is the key to understanding a country. Each country's culture, whether it be something you think about that's old or something that's modern, is the best way to understand people. So if I come to Winnipeg, you know, the culture here is definitely sport. You have to be a Jets fan and a Blue Bombers fan to kind of understand what's going on here. You have to have uh, this understanding of this, you know, prairie and metropolis. And I'm from Toronto, so being from Toronto is a very different world. So to understand Winnipeg, you have to understand its culture and its people. So it's, it's that thing, it's those small nuances that allow you to understand the people to which you're visiting. And that can be put into Toronto, that can be put into Singapore, that can be put into Slovenia, wherever you go in the world. You have to understand that culture if you want to understand the people there. It's the little things that make them who they are. I would like to expand my products into other cities in Manitoba. Brandon's a really cool place. Gimli's a really cool place. And I don't think people really go there to explore it unless there's a film festival or something. So I would like to leave Winnipeg and start showcasing the rest of the province because even though Winnipeg is fantastic and there's so much to do here, there's so much more to do in the rest of the province and I would like people to see that as well. And 